Teams split the first two games of the series. Huge regional implications here in game three. The hottest ticket in town in college baseball. This game has been sold out since Monday. Series on the line, game three underway. And Alex Madeira. Kind of a head to count what, uh, what he has in store. Goes back to the cheddar and the first punch out for Jake Hunter. Jake Hunter on three and two. This is up and a leadoff runner on. Two outs here for Casey Cook. But he is off to a nice start. The RBI numbers where they're looking for. It. That ball is ripped up the middle. And a two-out knock for Harbor. And their their expectation will be that he will settle in. This ball is rocketed to center. Johnson with some room. And up against the track. That's a loud third out. Enough can't be said for the atmosphere today. There's a four-pitch walk. And already a factor with a leadoff man on. Maybe in the state or the country this week. As the ball gets away from Stevenson. Listen to this crowd on 3-1. Another walk for Johnson. Back-to-back -back runners on for ECU. And the Pirates obviously want to take advantage. Now bunt attempt for Starling. That'll bring up Jace Vanderbreek and the first out. A little situational baseball there from Cliff Godwin. Is the young pitcher's got to settle in and, and be able to compete the zone. First pitch. Gets down for a base hit. Jenkins Coward delivers two more and an early start for East Carolina. That's the fifth hit of the series for Jacob Jenkins Coward. You know, what's just staying within yourself again, using the middle of the field. What's lost on there? If you'll notice the base. Now the 3 1 is rocketed to first. Nice stab by Harbor and great coverage by the true freshman. And now Hunter on two and two. Goes by him with the heat. That was 91 up and in. This time Hunter goes down Broadway to get another strikeout. Give him three. So Hunter changes speeds for the punch out. Striking out the side here in the second. Been heating up a little bit for the Tar Heels. That's a four pitch walk. Clonch steps in. Oh, a throw gets away from the first baseman Harbor. And now the speed of Nowak is on full display. All the way to third and in there. Wow. Hey, you know, that ball didn't get that far away. Wins this inning, and you continue to do that, and you win a lot of games. Deep fly ball could do the trick as well. This is Vance Honeycutt with a high-level arm. But no option on that one. A sack fly makes it 3 nothing. Great job by Clonch again. Jake Hunter ready to go on pitch eight of the at-bat. And a good one. Fastball challenges the All-American, and he gets the strikeout. Instead, right down the middle. Yeah, he just went right at him with it. Come tournament time, Osuna is well out with injury, but here's the healthy Wilkerson popping one up. And there you go. Two Blue Bloods here in the state of North Carolina battling it out. And a slow popper for Johnson that lops in. So there's the second hit of the game for ECU. Johnson on the move. Great throw to second, and they got him. Stevenson the cannon. Advantage, Cunningham, blast one to right, it's into the jungle. That's one of those who tries to get in, just doesn't quite get it in far enough, and Cunningham being red hot like he is, uh, deposits that ball over the right field wall. Seventh home run of the year for the Pirates, and there's some offense here in the fifth. Yeah, you see it, just kind of hung up, a little breaking pitch, and Catches way too much of the plate, and Cunningham's all time for it with two strikes. And, and again, puts a great swing on it, and, and away she goes. Jake Hunter in a battle with Vance Honeycutt. Ball four, good battle, and a one-out walk. So the 2-2 is blasted into the air. How about Casey Cook coming to life? And the Tar Heels are back within two. Yeah, I mean, 2-2 uh, count, you know, he kind of struggled uh, on the mound, and Cook sits on that uh, on that pitch down in the zone, and, you know, down and in to a left-handed hitter is kind of the natural sweet spot. That ball found its way down there, and Cook deposited it in, uh, into right field, almost onto the practice uh, soccer field, or sorry, football field. That man is cooking. How about this swing? All of a sudden, power becoming a factor. Teams with home runs and back-to-back -back innings. That's a card dealer in Vegas shooting one down the line and perfectly placed against the shift. 
Could have done that much better for an infield single. Hitting almost 350. That's a hard ground ball. That time the shift is perfect. Give him a second base hit and the sixth hit of the series for JJC. I'll tell you what, he's really seen it well right now. This is a Taylor May double play. Great scoop by Wilkerson, and he turns it. For the ninth time this year, the Tar Heels flip two. Postseason atmosphere here in Greenville. And ball four starts the inning off for the Tar Heels. Uh, record crowd 6,017 in attendance. And now a rocketed base hit from Colby Wilkerson. So here are the Tar Heels bringing the go-ahead runner to the plate in the seventh. So Gavin Gallagher will pitch it here for the Tar Heels. Scott Forbes going to his bench. How about this drive? Gavin Gallagher to left. It's deep and gone. The true freshman puts the Tar Heels in front. You know, and that's, that shows you how strong that young man is. I don't think he got all that. Kind of like he got it off the end of the bat, but just enough to bustle it out of the ballpark and flip the scoreboard, and the uh, Tar Heels take a one-run lead. What a time for your second career home run. See, just a fastball kind of caught a little bit too much played and doesn't necessarily get it all. Great effort by Nowak, just came up a little bit short. And Scott Forbes, a huge fan of that big swing this weekend. That ball hits Honeycutt. And this inning continues with a hit by pitch. Good play by Danny Beal. And he gets out of the threat. Not before Carolina changes this game in a hurry. But nobody better than uh, this guy late in games. Ball four. And the tying runs at first base here in the seventh. Runner takes off. It's a hit there and run is. base hit. Chrisman with speed to third. And men on the corners. We thought there was a good chance we would see it. And now the 3-1. Runner's moving. This ball is down for a base hit. We are tied in the seventh. I tell you what, they're not afraid to do it at any time, are they? Just, a, again, not trying to do more than he's capable of. Caught the shortstop in a, in, in, a, in a bad defensive position. Covered the bag on the steal. Allows the ball to dump right over his head. Run scores. Runner still first and third one out. Here's the one-two. Runner's moving on the pitch, so no chance at the double play. And the Pirates take the lead. Pro at bat again. Two-strike hitting. Infield's back. Take what they're giving you. And he attacks the first pitch off of Vanderbreak. Here comes another East Carolina run. And Johnson's in there. And again, I mean, would you expect anything else from Jacob Starling? He's done it his entire career. Of the runs we've seen scored, that's the only ball that's been hit with any authority. Three runs this inning for ECU, and none have been hit farther than 100 feet. Another 0-2. Hit hard to second. He stabbed there by Madeira. Yeah, it looks like the Pirates have a couple guys down playing toss, but nothing real serious. Nice start to the inning. Base hit for D'Onofrio. And that may be just enough to speed those arms up. Working here 2-2. Gets a base hit. Ozuna goes the other way. Little first to third with D'Onofrio. And here are the Tar Heels threatening. Yeah, Ozuna beats the shift, right? Everybody. Uh... And he's moving. The three one's a strike, but the throw is late. Here's the payoff. Got him swinging. Good pitch in his first Pirate debut, Aaron Grawlick. Now the three one. There you go, five pitch walk, and the bases are loaded. That hits Colby Wilkerson. It's a one run game. Yep. You know, these are the small margin for error situations that we've talked about so much through this game. And a tight one. As the 2-1 has popped up, it's got some carry on it. How about Gallagher to the warning track? And Jenkins Cowart there. As this game is now tied on the sack fly. Yeah, that one, uh, that had a lot of carry to right. Kind of had JC in full retreat. Now the 2-2. Line fair and a base hit. 
Vance Honeycutt steps up. His first hit of the day gives the Tar Heels the lead. Another piece of two-strike hitting that we've seen uh, both teams execute all day. You know, has uh, some good luck at an RBI to show for it. Just goes down with that pitch and kind of golfs it out into, uh, into left field. It had been a slow day by Honeycutt standards, but he finds a perfect time to step up. Yep, more primitive Costello could get the job done. Here's a pop-up to left. And a sliding catch. Wow, Nowak saves a couple of runs there. And a base hit. Wilcoxon brings the tying run to first. What else could you ask for here? Top 15 matchup and the 3-1. Is high into right. Nowak gives it a drive. It is out oh. of here. Wow. <laughs> the East Carolina Pirates doing it again. And I, I, I want to say that was like a hit and run or a run and hit. There was something on there. Carter was in motion. No like Amazing job. Again. And watch 6,000 plus go bonkers. Uh, another slobber knocker, right? A line drive for Barini. That drops in in front of Honeycutt. So 10 hits tonight for the Pirates. Johnson rolls. Nice snap at first. And we go to the ninth inning. And that's not even close, a four-pitch walk. The payoff, got him swinging. Good heat from the true freshman. Some emotion right there too, right? Time run, Caleb Cost over there at first. And that hits Dix, and ruled the hit by pitch. Blocking the ball, keeping it out in front of you is a huge deal. Slow roller to first, and the only play is at the bag. So one out to decide this thing. And the ball gets away. Tying run, Cost scores. And East Carolina gives up the tying run. Tar Heel pin as well. The 3-1 is lifted on the infield. There's Jacob Starling. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. Sprague. Got him swinging. Good pitch. Good Starling digs in. And he attacks the first pitch. Starling hits it foul. foul. Ball. Keeps it more fair and a base hit. A one out single for East Carolina. Sprague's first pitch is fair into the corner. Jacob Starling hustling to third. He's going to hold him at third, yep. And he stops right Let's there. See where that ball goes. Clutch double for JJC. Yeah, they're going to put him on. Dixon Williams, an intentional walk. Yeah, they're going to put him on to face the right-hander. That'll bring the the, uh, the true freshman, Bristol Carter, to the plate. Big pitch for Ryan Fisher out of the pen. Gives up a base hit, and the Pirates take the series over North Carolina. Couldn't ask for much better here in week two of the season. No, man. We saw some guys do things that, again, no walk with a home run. Bristol Carter comes in and gets an A-B and takes, makes the most of it, takes advantage of the opportunity to give it to him, game winner. Uh, man, how cool to see. And, and again, how game the Hills were. If this thing goes another frame, we may be here all night.